Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we're taking a look at the top 5 best minor decks in the current meta, at least in my opinion, and I try my best to give you guys a variety of win conditions, as well as a variety of decks with different legendary cards, so hopefully if you only have that minor, at least some of these decks will work for you. Now the first deck you can already see right here is a P.E.K.K.A. Minor Control deck. This deck is very good, especially on ladder, because it does so well against all those heavier beatdown decks like RG decks, Golem decks, and Giant decks, and it does decently against the Hog Rider decks. The only weakness I would say this deck has is against air decks like uh, Balloon decks, as well as Lava Hound decks, because you only really have two defensive cards for air defense, and only one of them is a heavier hitter. Now, the second deck over here is currently one of the top meta decks in the game, especially in the top 200 players, and that is this classic Golem Miner 3 spell deck with the Night Witch as well as the Electro Wizard. Now, if you guys don't have that log, you can go ahead and use Goblins instead. If you don't have the Electro Wizard, go ahead and either use Archers or a Musketeer. And for the Night Witch, she is your heavy hitting card, so you might want to use a Mini P.E.K.K.A. in there, or if you do have the log, you can replace the Night Witch with those Goblins. Now, the third deck over here is going to be a Spell Bait deck. What would a top 5 minor video be? without at least a one spell of bait deck. So here it is. If you guys don't have the princess, go ahead and either use archers or minions instead. And fourth over here, we have a minor three musketeer deck. And fifth and finally, guys, is a 2.9 minor cycle deck. Now, guys, if you don't have the Electro Wizard, like I said before, go ahead and either use archers or a musketeer instead. I would say top priority would probably be archers in place of the Electro Wizard, but it's totally up to you. But anyways, guys, these are the five decks we're looking at today. Let's go ahead and do one line battle with each deck, starting with this P.E.K.K.A. deck first. All right, here we go, guys, with that P.E.K.K.A. minor control deck facing off against Marin up top there. Now, I am currently a little bit sad because I just recorded, I just recorded rather, the most epic battle with that P.E.K.K.A. deck. It was versus a Golem Night Witch beatdown deck and it went so perfectly. It was like the prime example as to why you would want to use this deck because Golem Night Witch is like in the meta right now. And it was like just perfect because the P.E.K.K.A. shuts down the Golem with the Baby Dragon Poison shutting down that uh, Night Witch. But unfortunately, recording stopped halfway through and I lost it, so... Made me sad, man. Made me sad, man. Uh, let's, take, let's just zap this right here. Boom. And then Ice Spirit the Mega. And we'll probably Mega his uh, P.E.K.K.A. right here. And then do we need the Battle Ram? Mm. We're gonna go Battle Ram right here, though. And see if we can't get something done to that tower. What does he got? Barbarians? Bowler! Uh, Bowler Zap combo. Okay, I'm okay with that, guys. He's spending a ton of Elixir on defense right there. I definitely expect a graveyard here soon. So thankfully we do have that poison spell in our deck to kill the graveyard. Baby Dragon right there. Maybe do a minor and a counter push right here. Alright, so Musketeer there. We're gonna do probably Probably Naked Miner here. And then probably Ice Spirit for the Musketeer. For the most part, this deck is uh, a minor control deck, as I mentioned before. It's not really a Pekka beatdown deck, so you don't really want to be looking to build those massive Pekka pushes. It's mostly Miner and Battle Ram for dealing damage to the tower. Boom. Nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So no Battle Ram right here. We know he's got that bar Bowler in his hand right now, ready to go. So we don't want to use it just yet. Instead, what I want to do is do P.E.K.K.A. right here. Um, because that's kind of like the only play we had. I know I just said we don't want to do like slow P.E.K.K.A. pushes. But with the Battle Ram, like, we know he's got Bowler. So you don't want to throw in like the 4 Elixir. It's basically wasting because he's got that Bowler. So right here, we can do a quick Battle Ram, Baby Dragon, Miner on the right-hand side. And then do the work. So let's go boom, boom. Uh... Miner over here. I'm so used to triple electric guys that it honestly takes a bit of time to get adjusted to it. So let's go freeze that mini P.E.K.K.A. right there. Boom. Nice. P.E.K.K.A. kill the bowler please. One more hit the bowler. Nice. There we go. So doing the work to that tower there guys. There's that. Let's go. P.E.K.K.A. over here. Pull this over. Hopefully he gets the giant too. Yes. There we go. There we go. We're going to kill that giant. P.E.K.K.A. going to kill the bowler. And we're going to use a actually Miner here on the same lane as this P.E.K.K.A. right here. Because we've already invested so much elixir on that lane. So battle ram right here. Boom. Ice burst for support. He might do bowler here. But we'll freeze the mini packet. We'll poison as well. Boom. Battle ram, please connect. Boom. Nice. There we go. There we go. So the baby dragon do some nice splash there. Let's go Pekka here for that giant. Uh, Mega minion over here. And then we'll zap all this jazz right here. Boom. Kill the mega. Kill the giant, please. And then we'll have a nice counter push afterwards. One giant hit is all he does. Musketeer going down in a second. Miner in the back for support. And watch this, guys. Boys and girls. 
pay attention, because this is going to be destruction right here. Always mixing up the location of those miners, so we can't keep predicting them. Right there, poison going down. Mega for his mini packet right here. And one more miner zap should be all it takes to finish off our angry friend up there. He is not too happy today, guys. Marin. Why so sad, my friend? So I want to go miner right here with the zap, because he can't predict. He hopefully shouldn't predict that location right there. Ready? Boom. There we go, guys. Boom. Nice. Tower is dead. Our friend, our angry friend, I should say, up top there, super angry. <laughs> Down he goes, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at that giant deck. All right, here we are, guys, with the giant triple spell deck. One of the most popular decks right now uh, in the meta, especially the top 200. I see a lot of people using this deck right now. Uh, so let's go um, probably slow giant, one of these lanes. This lane right here. Seeing the archers back there, I kind of expect motorcycle. So we'll hope not, because the giant is behind the king tower right now. But we'll see soon. Balloon. All right. So let's go this. Whoa. Mr. Level. Wow. So that's a dead tower, boys and girls, for sure, on the right. Because our friend has pretty high cards, dudes. I got to say. I dare say those are some impressive cards. With the... Uh... I kind of want to get the zap down right here. Boom, zap. Nice. There we go. So it's... we traded towers. We traded towers. Um, actually, we have the a slight lead here because we're gonna go to the King Tower and do a bit of work right there. But Giant Balloon is probably a decent counter to our deck, guys. Especially with a max level 11 Giant and 7 Balloon. So this this could go either way, honestly. Never discount them because they're level 11, guys. Never discount them because of their level. So kill that Balloon. That was a pretty bad push by him. But the uh, Balloon Bomb going off. Let's go log right here. Kill these Archers as well as that stuff. And... Uh, Maybe he spent a bit too much Elixir there. Ideally, you want to save. Like, you want to be spending less Elixir every defense than your opponent is spending on offense. Because what you do is kind of build up a slow Elixir lead over time. If you keep spending all of your Elixir on every defense and you have no counter push afterwards, it's basically a stalemate and you can't get anything going. So, usually leads to a fair bit of draw. So, right here, he's going to go Giant Balloon on the left. So, we're going to go Giant Nightwish here. Mega here. Electro Wizard for this. Boom. Uh, maybe I could have waited a couple seconds for that uh, Electro Wizard to kill the uh, the bats too, but get the Miner in there to get some chip damage down to that tower. I don't want to fireball this too. Get the archers of all the minions in there. Boom. Nice. There we go. And now he's got another balloon ready to go right here. So the question is, do you have the giant with the balloon? That's the question, guys. Might wish here. Yes, he does. Mega and Electro Wizard too. Boom. Zap. One uh, one balloon hit on our tower. Oh, yes. All he gets is one. I'm, I'm okay with that for sure. Let's go. Giant right here to the tank. We got bats for support. Miner in the back for some uh, damage. And then we'll do probably a Mega right here for support as well to kill all these Mega minions back here. Come on, get in there, Mega. Miner gets some nasty damage right there, guys. Literally the nastiness. Done right there. Tower Mega's on there. Night Witch right here, guys. And the Electro Wizard should do work to his push. I think he gave up, guys. Nope, right there. Good game to our friend. Now, he was a level 11, but I think if you consider the card levels right there, guys, it was, in the end, a pretty fair fight. All right, here we go, guys, with the Minor Zap Bait deck facing off again. Somebody whose name we can't read. So, we got a couple options here with our starting hand. We can do Slow Princess back here. Naked Barrel, we can do um, Night Barrel, but I kind of want to just play into this Bomber here. I'm expecting an RG in front of that Bomber, because Royal Giants typically tend to be the only decks rocking a Bomber, and your boss Shane is correct, my friends. Boom. Eat my Inferno. You like it? It tastes good? I don't think so. No! You were... Uh, yes! Princess turned around. I was hoping the Zap would kill the Archer, but it didn't. But the Princess did. Let's go Knight right there. Let's go. Where's minions though? Let's ignore them. Let's not ignore them. I get my Goblin Gang down here. One more Princess hit, please. Princess, why'd you hit? Notice how she missed the first minion there? What a nub, guys. Go back to Princess School. Why did she miss the first, uh. Why'd she miss that first one, guys? There's the bomber. Bomber's now. No. Yes, Bomber's dead. 
Princess survives, getting some damage into the tower. That's your wizard going down. We're going to ignore it. I'm going to go minor barrel here. You got minions for that? Yeah, that's totally what I would do. I was going to do pre-fireball there, but a bit too risk this earlier on. Now, if I were him, I would do RG in front of those minions. If he had the elixir, I'm not too sure if he does, but... Oh, well played, my friend. I think he wanted to distract the other tower with that, but it didn't work for him. As you saw, let's go Princess here. Split the Goblin Gang, and then do Miner back here. What do you got for that, son? Bomber on the right? Oh, please kill that Bomber! Miner, yes! Making me so happy. There we go. Princess gets more damage done. Minions for the Princess right here. Incoming Minions for the Princess. Alright, I forgot about the Electro Wizard, to be honest, guys. Knight right here. Kill the Electro Wizard. Princess should do work to that Minions right there. What does he got? Bomber? Protect it! Protect it! Protect it! Yes! Goblin going down! Kill the minions, please! Yes! One more miner over here for Chippage. Um, barrel as well, because we're risky. We're stupid. Spending it all. Oh, the Elite Barbs, guys! Don't spend all of your Elixir, guys, against the Elite Barbarians. Because they're nasty. Uh, kill Yes, 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 yes. So, now, at this point in the battle, guys, we can play straight defense here. Boom. And boom, fireball this. Because we don't have anything for the bomber. Boom. And then we should ignore that miner. We should be okay. We have the princess to counter those minions. The biggest, like, when you're using the Inferno Tower versus an RG deck, guys, the biggest threat against your Inferno is the minions. Because against an RG user, typically they'll do, like, uh, RG and then minions right in the middle over the river to distract your Inferno Tower. So that's why I use the Inferno Tower, like, over in the opposite corner, not in the middle. It's just a little bit harder for them to use those minions to distract your Infernal Tower. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the Three Musketeer deck. Alright, here we go, guys, with that Three Musketeer Miner deck. Now, we are going to showcase this deck in a Grand Challenge battle for a couple of reasons. For two reasons. The first reason is a lot of my cards in this deck are under level, like the Musketeers and the Minion Horde. The minion Horde dies to Zap, Musketeers die to Fireball in one shot on Ladder, so... There is that. And the second reason is I feel like for the majority of you guys that are watching this video right now, it might be a little bit harder to get your Musketeers up to level on ladder, so maybe better to use them in challenges, so kind of up to you. If you do have them up to a decent level where they don't die to uh, Fireball, absolutely go ahead and use them on a ladder. I'm going to kill that. Ideally, I would have had a pump down there, but we didn't have time, boys and girls. We did not have time. So let's, let's just go back there and do some stuff. And we're going to ignore that push right there. Ignore the wizard as well as the electro wizard. Nice. And then just musketeer doing work right there. Let's go. Goblin, uh, pump right here. Get the goblins ready for his next hog rider. Where's your hoggy? Does he pre-fireball? Does he log? Does he zap? He can't zap it because it's not going to die. There we go. Fireball in the pump as well as the tower. I'm surprised he keeps fireballing that because he knows we have three musketeers. <clears throat> so kind of what I do want to do right here. I know his wizard's out of rotation. I want to go Minion Horde Miner right here, boys and girls. And we'll have to heal if he does anything like Zappy. I think his wizard is out. RG right there, alright. The RG should die fairly quickly. There's no point to heal though, because it does die to uh, Wizard one hit. So right there, tower is dead. So maybe this is a, in the end, a good indicator of the deck, because we're still facing Royal Giant Hog, which typically is like a ladder deck. So maybe even that in the Grand Challenge here, it's still a good representation of how it might perform on ladder if you have uh, the decent card level. So just let me know, guys. Give me feedback. Like, is it even worth it doing a video with this deck in Grand Challenges? Or should I not even bother if it's not uh, ladder gameplay? I kind of figured some gameplay is better than none. But uh, you guys can tell me on that what you think. Probably should have used that pump in the corner there, but that's okay. If he fireballs it, we'll just do th three Musketeers or one of these again. His wizard's out. Let's go boom, boom. Ignore that RG because we're going to go in for the kill here. Battle Ram right here. Yes, should be dead. Should be a dead uh, tower there. We're going to get the tower up on the left, but going to take the tower on the right, which is honestly okay by me. And then probably do three Musketeers here soon. No, he's got his Fireball back, so let's split him up right here. Two on the left, one on the right. We know his Fireball is back in rotation. We haven't even used the, the heal spell once in this battle. We haven't even needed it, guys. There's been no need so far. We're going to heal this right here. Boom. Now we can say we used it, and then we'll kill that wizard over there, and then we'll go boom, boom, right here. So the Musketeer is taking out the uh, Electro Wizard, and the tower going down for a nice, sweet, and succulent 
three crown victory guys let's go ahead take a look at the minor cycle deck all right here we are guys with the fifth and final deck the 2.9 minor cycle this deck is so much fun to use but it's so risky at the same time because fast cycle decks like if you give your opponent momentum they, they can be hard to shut down a defense let's go poison right here if we wanted to we could have gone like knight and then minor the pump um, but the poison is a bit safer in my opinion because they can counter the minor they can't counter the poison So I'm expecting three musketeers or golem one of the two We just found out boys and girls what it's gonna be today and so let's go probably I'm gonna do here boys and girls We're gonna wait we're gonna waste one elixir here and go electro wizard skeletons here boom Maybe no skeletons needed. Nope. No skeletons needed Night Witch dying to the night, thank you. And we're gonna go skeletons on this musketeer right here. And go boom, and then boom. Kill her, and then knight. Come on, kill the battle run. There we go, there we go. The knight should survive and tank for our minor on a counter push right here. Should be decent, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Right here. Oh, the P.E.K.K.A. in the back, guys. Freeze it, yes. There we go. Now, guys, the P.E.K.K.A. three musketeers is... Uh, one of the top strategies right now in the game Definitely a decent choice. We don't have the farble in here. So if he's got the heal spell we are dead That's just the nature of the game right now boys and girls. I should stop saying that it might be getting annoying for you mm, That's that Can you please start at the P.E.K.K.A. one of these days? Tomorrow maybe even next week would be nice But sometime <laughs> there we go P.E.K.K.A.'s dead. So I'm expecting a heal spell in his deck for sure He's got minion horde. He's got three musketeers all the prime ingredients of a heal spell deck uh, we know he'd be rocking it, guys. Let's go. Boom on the right. What does he got? Three musketeers in the middle. Nightwish back there. Ooh, do we want to poison that? That's prime poison, but he's got, we know he's got the uh, the muskets. So I didn't want to uh, poison that right there. If you know what I'm saying, my friends. Musketeers in the middle. There's the packer. There's the big packer, guys. The mama, the mama packer. Alright, Miner gets some chippage. Uh, he's gonna have a nasty counter push right here. If he's got a heal though, I can guarantee we're dead. That's just the nature of the game right now, guys. That's just how it works. Heal spell equals dead, people. Boom, boom. What? How? What? How is that Barbarian closer? No way. There's no way, my friends. No way in the world. Alright, so. Night Witch will be dead here soon. Electro Wizard here, boom. Close bats. Electro Wizard here, boom. Nice. We're doing okay, we're doing okay. Ice Spurt here. Got a Knight and a Minor. Guys, I'm sorry about the commentary being stupid late, lame. But we're gonna go focus mode here. A little bit of focus is always a good thing. Kill that musket. Boom. Electro Wizard kill. The tower, please. One more hit. Nice. Oh, we're doing okay here, boys and girls. Now, Pekka in front of that Night Witch, probably. Uh, all right, you can do that. I'm okay with that one right there. Never mind. Not okay. Not okay. Electro Wizard, come to Papa. Come to me, please. Ooh, boom. Nice. The greediest Electro Wizard ever. Hmm. All right. All right. I don't know what's going on here, guys, but something is happening. And I don't really like it. Let's go. Skeletons here. Kill the muskets. Yes, so if we can do a minor poison here, and we should be okay here. So let's go. We're gonna wait for that packet to get out of there. Actually, we can't. Let's go poison. Minor right here. Ice spirit. Zap as well. Come on, minor, one more hit. One more hit. There we go, boys and girls. Good game to our friend. Doll mine up top there. The commentary was pretty bad in that battle, but I went super try hard mode and was trying to focus on winning. So even though he did have level 9 3 Musketeers, which I definitely consider a little bit lower level for this trophy range. Without having the Fireball in there, it didn't impact the battle too much. If we would have had my Fireball, we could have one-shotted the Musketeers, and it would have went way better for us. But the only reason we won that battle, guys, is because he didn't have the heal spell in his deck. If he did have the heal spell, he would have had a strong counter deck to ours, 
and there was basically be almost no way to win that battle. But anyways guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. Let me know what card you would like featured next in a top 5 video in the comment section down below. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for some more Clash Royale content. Thank you so much for watching guys. We will see you in the next one.